So I think many believers are troubled about the idea that evolution would be God's method of creation. Couldn't it have been done in a way that didn't take so long, didn't seem so random, and didn't involve a lot of suffering and death of creatures that ended up not being selected for? First of all, I don't think we should overstate that consequence of evolution. Evolution operates over very long periods of time. A small difference in reproductive fitness can have a huge difference in terms of what happens to a species over millions of years. And so it's not necessary uh, for the less fit individuals uh, to suffer terrible, painful deaths in order for evolution to have its action appear. It's simply that they aren't quite as successful in having as many offspring. Secondly, I don't know why it is that God would have used this method, and I suspect until that moment where we can climb into the mind of God, which I don't expect to happen in this life, uh, we won't know the answer to that. But it's an amazingly elegant means of creating not only human beings, but this phenomenal diversity of other living things around us. Perhaps in a certain way, it might have been the most economical way, the most sensible way, the most effective way to achieve this in a universe that had the properties that God had put into place, which made life possible in the first place. You know, if God is the author of all of creation, God could hardly be threatened by the discoveries that our puny minds have made possible about how it works. We should be more awed and not less by what science is teaching us. Certainly that's my experience. Every discovery increases my awe of God's amazing intellect. It doesn't decrease it in the tiniest bit.